Hi guys, this is Rebecca, the Purple Rose. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you can watch all my latest jewelry unboxings and hauls. Today, I thought I would show you a unboxing of a couple of eBay auctions that I won recently. This is a, a redo of the voiceover part of the video. I actually talked through this whole video um, while doing it. Um, and apparently my tech guy, who is my man, um, forgot to push the button. So there was no sound, um, but there is the uh, video. So this is a voiceover. I'm going to try to match it up as best as I can, um, but just know that it won't match up exactly. So it is going to be the jewelry um, unboxing of an eBay auction haul. I'm going to start with the ring that I have on, and this actually was given to me by my mother, who came up last weekend for a visit for her birthday, and she brought me a bag full of rings that she had gotten from someone who was giving them away. This one is really cool because um, besides all the neat little rhinestones there on the flower, it's a double ring. It's sort of like a over under, I guess I would call it. Um, and there's a little tiny sister flower that sits apart uh, from the larger flower. So you put the larger flower um, on one whole finger and then the other part goes underneath and comes out the other side. Um, so I think that's really kind of neat. And like, who has that? I mean, I've never seen anything like that. Um, and then this ring is just a really big chunker, a red, I think lucite or acrylic on top. Um, and then just a gold tone metal. I don't think it's old. Um, I just think it's big and interesting to look at. So those are my rings of the day. Um, and apparently I wanted to show you them more. Um, all of the jewelry that you're going to see in the video is for sale. If you're interested in anything, just send me an email to purplerosecny at gmail.com. Um, shipping is $5, up to five ounces. And just make me an offer on anything and we will make a deal. Um, so I'm going to start with the larger bag, the prime bag. And I'm just going to cut this open because I'm not going to use this again. Um, this seller was actually amazing to work with. I found one of the items and I put it on my watch list and then I looked at the seller's other items and I just sent them a note and said, Hey, can I combine shipping? Will you wait for me to, you know, wait for all your other auctions to end before doing that? And they said, of course, and waited I think six days for me to um, finish all my shopping in their store. So they packaged it really nicely and they sent us this little thank you note. Um, thank you for buying my brooches and pendants. And then here's how it came wrapped in the bubble wrap. And I'm sorry, I can't provide you with the satisfying sounds of the crinkling of the bubble wrap and the tissue paper and the bag sounds and all that. Um, you can just imagine it. And next time <laughs> I will make sure we push the right buttons um, to provide you with that. Um, so on the inside, it's some nice, beautiful gold tissue paper. And uh, it said, thank you for supporting my business on the sticker. And I always like to see how other sellers wrap their items and package their items. So I thought that was um, really nice packaging. And then here we go with the inside. And I think there was seven items in this auction, or I should say store that I won. Okay, and we're gonna start with this one which is the smallest, I think, of all of the items. But it was the first item that I saw that drew me into um, Elena. It was her name on the uh, thank you note. So Elena's store. Um, so it was a sweet little dog pin. And it's enamel and gold tone. 
It looks like a like a German short hair pointer, I think. Um, but I just thought it was really sweet. It has a little bit of loss to the enamel down on the back leg there. Um, but overall, it's cute. It's just like a scatter pin. I would wear this like on my coat. Um, it's just really cute and dainty. And I liked it a lot. So I figured I would try that. And then I again, I started looking at all her other auctions. Um, but this was the first one from Elena. And then this pin is, I am so glad that I saw this. Um, this is like a stallion head, a horse head. Um, in, I think those are called paste rhinestones and silver tone, and then a little bit of red enamel for the eye and the uh, lip line there. Um, I love the baguette stone, the, the rectangular stone there. I thought that was really pretty. And I actually think that stone alone is the reason why I loved this little pen. And of course, the horse. I am so into animals. Um, and it's just, I just couldn't not look at it. Um, and then this is the back. And you guys, this piece, of course, because this is a voiceover, it's not going to come off as excited as I was the first time. But when I turned this over and I realized there was a mark underneath the pin when the seller put the pictures up the pin back was closed and I did not see that there was a mark underneath the pin and when I opened it up for the first time I see this mark um, so I was trying to get it focused for you and it says Karu K-A-R-U um, and Karu is a vintage jewelry designer they were only around, I think, for a couple of decades. Sometimes their pins or sometimes their items are marked Karu Ark, A-R-K-E on the end. Um, this one just had Karu, K-A-R-U. And I guess the famous story is that they were sued by Coro, which is uh, C-O-R-O. And they were sued by Coro for trying to have like a similar name to their company. Um, but the lawsuit never came to fruition. They actually ended the lawsuit because it was deemed that they weren't the same. Um, and the, and the K A R U is from the, the first two letters of the names of the two founders. Um, so let's move on to this other brooch. Um, this is a little gold tone and almost like a jelly belly center with some rhinestones deer. And again, me and the animals, I love animals. I love deer. Um, I live in central New York. We get a ton of deer right in my backyard. Um, we actually had triplets born of deer in between my yard and my neighbor's yard um, a few years ago. It was actually quite amazing. Um, and so is this little brooch. So I learned something the other day. I was watching another video um, by another YouTuber, and they were saying that the jelly belly term is only allowed technically in the jewelry world for clear stones that are used as the belly of the animal. I didn't know that. I thought that it was used for any color of stone. So sometimes I have said jelly belly and not known um, if that I might have been wrong. So if if I am, let me know in the comments. Um, or if I'm not, <laughs> let me know. Um, what what would you consider a jelly belly? What would what would that be? And I, I really do like this little deer brooch. I think it's a male deer because of the antlers. Um it's very sweet. Okay, this is the only pendant of the lot here. Um, and you can see this is a pewter pendant. And it did come with the chain, which 
in the um, auction listing, I don't think it had a chain. So I appreciate Elena. Um, thank you for adding that in there for me so I could actually wear it. Um, but I don't think that was in the listing. So that's nice, a little bonus. Um, so this is a pewter pendant and it says OP sale 76 on it. Um, you can see it's kind of like a, a cut metal here um there's ridges like you, it's very textural in its design um and it has this nautical rope edging and it's obviously sailing ships with their masts and sails um and then what i wanted to do is on the original video and i'll do this here is i want to just read you what op sale 76 actually is um from the wikipedia page so Operation Sail, OP Sail, refers to a series of sailing events held to celebrate special occasions and features sailing vessels from around the world. Each event is coordinated by Operation Sail Incorporated, a nonprofit organization established in 1961 by U.S. President John F. Kennedy. Often referred to as OP Sail or Op Sail, the event has the goal of promoting goodwill and cooperation between countries while providing sail training and celebrating maritime history. It is also sometimes erroneously referred to as tall ships. While the tall ships form the centerpiece of the event, smalling sailor vessel, smaller sailing vessels also participated. Six OP sail events have been held to date, 1964, 1976, 1986, 1992, 2000, and 2012. The event culminates in the parade of ships on the Hudson River and in the New York Harbor on July 4th. So that is a little bit of the history of the OP sale, and I thought that was just really interesting. On the back of the pendant, it does say pewter. Um, and... What also was interesting that my man decided to let me know after I bought this and showed him this and explained the whole history was that um, while the OP sale, the whole organization was started by John F. Kennedy in 1961, he never actually got to witness any of the events because he uh, was assassinated in 1963 and the first event happened in 1964. So a little bit of history there about OP sale. Um, and then moving on to this beautiful butterfly brooch. Um, this was labeled as rare. Um, I don't know if it is rare. I, a lot of people use the word rare in their listings. Um, but I, I haven't seen anything quite like this before, I will be honest. Um, the, the green stones are what pulled me in. And I think it's very interesting that on the back, they are open back there. Um, they're, they're not um, translucent. Or I'm sorry, they're not transparent. So I'm surprised that they would be open in the back to let light in when there's nothing to go through there. But anyway, gold tone, it's etched, it looks like, on the top um, pretty intricately. And the body is, is super cool, and it's got these little red rhinestone eyes. Um, I just love it. I think it's really neat. And again, I haven't seen anything quite like that. No mark on the back that I could find. Um, and it is kind of like turning funky colors a little bit. I'm not sure if I should be trying to clean that or not, so... I'm going to leave it alone. And then we have this amazing layered gold tone, textured and polished gold and faux pearl, um, kind of like the broccoli style in the middle, um, like a flower. I don't know what kind of flower this is, but it is quite beautiful on the back. There is a mark. Once I get that together, I will show you. Um, it is, says BSK. I don't remember um, what BSK stands for, but it's the names of the three founders of the company. And they apparently 
excuse me, <clears throat> were only around for a, a few decades. I think from the late 40s to the late 70s. And they mostly made um, their items in a, in a style called brushed, brushing, which is the, the little tiny cuts and the texturized that, um, that you can see in the metal here. Um, I guess it was a fairly cheap process to, to do and to make. So they made uh, quite a bit of money on this style um, and they made a lot of items in this, in this fashion. And I just love that. I think it's, it's, it's big and it's super interesting and int it's intricate, even though it's, it might've been, you know, not as expensively made. It's still very beautifully made. BSK. Okay, and this is a bracelet. Um, this is like two panthers or jaguars or leopards, or mountain lions, whatever you want to call those um, big cats. Two of them facing opposite directions are crawling, and it's rhinestones. I, I think they're navy or black, and then the colorless or clear white rhinestones and this is a little linked style stretch bracelet um if you remember in my very first video i showed an over the shoulder panther brooch that i had gotten at a thrift store and if you haven't seen that video please please go back and watch um it's amazing um and this bracelet just reminded me of that just of, you know the same animal and I just, I wanted it. So I waited for it. I think this was the last auction that Elena was waiting for me to win um, before she could cash me out on all the auctions. Um, so the, the bracelet itself, it doesn't have a ton of stretch left to it, um, but it is definitely big enough to, to fit on a wrist and not break as soon as you put it on. Um, you could probably get it restrung if you really wanted to. And then the second part of the eBay wins for the week was this. This is just one item. Um, I was so very excited to win this item. I watched this item. I waited for it. And what I did was I waited to bid until like the very last second. I'm saying like within the last like 20 seconds. Um because I knew what it was. The seller knew what it was as well. And there was already a bunch of bids because they started the bidding really low. So I just wanted to be able to jump in there at the last second and hopefully win the item. And that strategy worked for me um, for this auction win anyway. So wait until you see this, you guys. It is This is so beautiful. Like I cannot even believe that I got it that I saw it even, and that I won it for the price that I want it for. Um, it's, it's so pretty. Just let the suspense build for a second. Okay, look at this, look at this, you guys. This is so, so beautiful. Like the camera does not even do it any justice. I can't, when you see it in real life or like when you're wearing it, it's just, whoa, okay. Um, I also, I believe I forgot to show the back of this on the video, but it is just a solid like antique gold tone all the way through the back. So let me get this um, camera focused for you. This is an amazing marked Joan Rivers wide drop rhinestone crystal necklace on this beautiful long antique gold rolled chain it is amaze you guys every single rhinestone is present all the stones are very sparkly every rhinestone is like in blazing color um it's just a beautiful design it's it's so unique and big and bold and dainty at the same time. 
I've worn it around the house. I love it already. Um, it's just like, look at the links. I mean, Joan definitely knew how to make some jewelry and she definitely knew how to turn some heads and make some stunners. And I mean, this one, I might keep this one, you guys. Um, this is just so pretty. Look at all those colors. It's like a whole garden in a necklace. Just so beautiful. And I love that it's really long too, because then you can like make it short if you want. You can wear it long if you want. I love the options. Joan, what a great, great jewelry designer. I love Joan. I'm probably going to do a whole video um, of all my Joan stuff. If you guys want that, just let me know in the comments. Um, or again, send me an email, purplerosecny at gmail.com. I'll take all your suggestions and offers on any pieces that interest you. Um, and again, this is this beautiful, absolutely beautiful, signed Joan Rivers. Amazing, amazing. Thank you guys again for coming to watch the video. I appreciate you staying until the end and dealing with this little voiceover. Um, promise that we won't have that uh, problem in the future. And I appreciate you letting me know because some of you did watch the first, uh, the first put out of the video where there was no sound. So I thank you for um, cueing me into that. And let me know in the comments your favorite piece. Maybe it was the butterfly. Maybe it's the OP sail brooch or the Karoo um, or my little cute little jelly belly deer or the BSK or the big old Joan. Please hit the subscribe button and please hit the like button if you like what you see or if you learned something new. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in my next one.